glittering balls and thoughtless revels fill up now each misspent night tis the reign of pride and folly, the carnival is at its height every thought for siren pleasure, and its sinful, feverish mirth, who can find one moment s leisure for aught else save things of earth. But, see, sudden stillness filling o'er those revels, laid so loud, and a hush comes quickly over all the maddened giddy crowd, for a voice from out our churches has proclaimed in words that burn, only dust art thou, proud mortal, and the dust shall thou return. And, behold, religion scatters dust and ashes on each brow, thus replacing gem and flower with that lowly symbol now on the forehead fair of beauty, and on manhood s front of pride, rich and poor and spirit weary all receive it, side by side. And the hearts that throbbed so wildly for vain pleasure s dreams alone, for its gilded gods and follies, now at length have come or grown. Oh, that voice with heavenly power through each restless breast hath thrilled, and our churches, laid so lonely, now with contrite hearts are filled. Fair and lovely are our altars with their starry tapers bright, with dim clouds of fragrant incense, fair young choristers in white, and the dying gleam of daylight, with its blushing crimson glow, streaming through the lofty casement on the kneeling crowd below. Tis an hour of golden promise for the hearts that secret burn with contrite and anxious wishes to the Father to return, for a Savior, full of mercy, on his altar throne is there, waiting but that they should ask him, for response to whispered prayer.